Hi, it's Kevin LaBates here, and today's video is a bunch of advice for people thinking about writing a book, particularly a technical book. I know a lot of you out there have this desire to write a book. My first bit of advice would be think very carefully about it, because writing a book is like banging your head against a wall, incredibly, incredibly painful, and the only wonderful thing about it is how the pain stops once you stop doing it. Anyway, that joke aside, uh, here are some short, pithy bits of advice that may help you on your way if you are foolhardy enough to have a go at writing and publishing your own book. And the first piece of advice is think very carefully about your audience. When you're writing a book, there is going to be a reader. And the readership out there is very, very broad. They have all sorts of levels of technical knowledge. They have all sorts of levels of attention span. You have to think to yourself, who is this book primarily aimed at? Is it meant to be a fun, light read while on an airplane by somebody who doesn't have much technological skill? Is it an in-depth reference manual for somebody who is very, very experienced but may be lacking a few uh, points here and there in their technological arsenal? Uh, is it somebody who is technically capable but knows nothing about the topic that you're writing about? Um, and following on from this, you need to pick the tone that your book has. Um, it will make a big difference to your readership whether you're writing something that is chatty and informal, something that's amusing and entertaining, or something that is insightful and educational. And the problem is that you can't really jump from one to the other. It's going to jar if someone's reading a book and one chapter is a very dry, accurate, in-depth manual, and then the next chapter is a light-hearted frolic through uh, some interesting historical topics about the um, thing that you're discussing in your book. So uh, it can be done, but it's really, really hard. It's best to pick a style or a tone and stick with it. And I have to be honest, in my first book, Move Over Brokers, Here Comes the Blockchain, I make the mistake of sliding between different types of readership as I'm writing it. it I kind of think I almost got away with it, but in hindsight, if I was to rewrite it, I would focus more on having a consistent tone throughout. So um, I think that is my biggest major piece of advice. The second piece of advice is read what you've written again and again. We have grammar checkers now, so you can run every sentence through that. Look at each sentence. You have to think of it almost as though you are writing a poem. For the reader, they're just going to stroll through it paragraph by paragraph, but you as the writer have to think about how does each sentence connect to the next one? Why is it there? Um, is it a space filler? Are you using words like simply, basically, in order to, um, phrases that are meaningless and are kind of put there almost as a pause as you're writing to think about what you're going to say next. You need to remove those. They shouldn't be there. Um, you're going to put them there because it's in our nature as we're writing to kind of churn that stuff out because it's sort of how we speak in real life. But a book is not a conversation, it's not a speech, it's something that you've had time to go back and correct. Unlike, for example, this video where I'm sure I've used lots of filler words to give myself time to think. <laughs> and I've just walked up a hill, so maybe I should take some time to breathe as well. But anyway, that's the second piece of advice. Look at your sentences over and over again, ask yourself why each one is there and how it contributes to the flow of the narrative as you go along. Um, and then I think my third and final piece of advice is that when you've written something, don't immediately go back and edit it. Put it aside for a day or a week or maybe even a month and then return to it after a bit of a break because you'll get to see it through new eyes. If you've just written something and you go and read it again, you're still going to be the person who wrote it. And as a result, it's going to be harder for you to see the flaws in the writing. If you take a break from it, then you can come back to it and see it through the eyes of your readership. And ultimately, that's what I think good writing is all about. It's the ability to see what you have written through the eyes of the people who are going to read it. That's what allows you to assess it and polish it up and improve it. So just three tips there. They're fairly simple. 
I have to remind myself of them time and time again though because they do seem to kind of drift out of the mind as you get into the habit of writing again but uh, I hope you found them useful I hope you found this video interesting and I hope to see you in the next video soon bye for now